Hi, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this video, you will learn how to create an image pop-out effect in PowerPoint 2013. The beautiful image pop-out effect you will learn to create today looks like this. It looks as if these pictures are popping out of the circular background that they are in. It's a very interesting effect to create and it's surprisingly simple to create as well. Let me show you how to create this beautiful effect from scratch. Here I am on a new slide and this slide has this picture that I am going to work with. The one important character of this picture is it is isolated from the background. If you don't have an isolated image where there is transparent background, then I highly suggest then you go to format, go to remove background option so you can isolate the image from its background. Now I'm not going to show you how to remove background from a picture because I already created a video on that one called PowerPoint Remove Picture Background Effect Series. You can go to this particular video. I'll leave a link to this particular video in the description area below this video. Go there and find out how to remove picture background. I'm going to assume that you went there and you understood how to remove picture background and you have an isolated image like this. So that is the first requirement. The second thing I'm going to do is to make a copy of this by pressing Ctrl D. Ctrl D is the shortcut for duplicate and I'm going to keep it on one side. Now I'm going to draw a circle which is going to be uh, the background for this picture. So let me go to Auto Shapes menu, pick up the oval tool from Basic Shapes. I'm going to hold the shift button down as I draw a circle. So this is the background that is going to house this particular picture. I'm going to make a duplicate of this as well. So I'm going to press Ctrl D and I'm going to keep it on one side. Now I'm going to select the picture first. I'm going to hold the shift button down as I select the circle that I just drew. And then let me go to the format tab in drawing tools option. Go to merge shapes and we are going to use the option called intersect. So I'm going to click on intersect and you can see that I have used the circle as a template to cut the earlier picture in circular form. Excellent. Now I'm going to take this picture. I'm going to give it a slight background. Maybe in this case, I can choose to have uh, a background like this or I can have plain white background, doesn't really matter. Then let us go to shape outline and let us give it a strong thick outline. In this case, maybe we can uh, use orange color and let us really make it thick. Let us go to weight and then say around six points as the weight. I'm going to place this and I'm going to place this behind. So I'm going to right click and send to back. Now you can see that we have the circle which is housing this picture. And now the only problem here is this picture looks like its head is cut off. Now that is where our second picture comes into play. We are going to right click bring to front and I'm going to place this exactly on top of the earlier picture. Now that looks perfect. Now you can see that we have got our head back in shape. Now only that this particular portion is jutting out. So we just need to go to format tab, go to the crop tool and then we can crop it down to whichever uh, portion you want. This is good enough. Now you can see that this picture that you see here is the one that I had cropped earlier in circular shape. And this one is the one which has uh, the top portion, but the bottom portion is cropped out. So that is how you create this beautiful picture effect. And it's very easy to create. I highly recommend that you try it in your next presentation. Hey, did you like the video? If yes, please click on the red subscribe button that you see down below the video to the left here. You see, having good slides to present is like wearing a good suit in the boardroom. You automatically feel more confident and sound more convincing. You know what? You don't need to be a PowerPoint ninja to create great looking slides like this. You just need to know a few simple techniques to significantly improve the look and feel of your business slides. In Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program, I teach you those surprisingly simple yet creative PowerPoint techniques that took me years to discover through painful trial and error method. Once you know the techniques, you will realize how easy it is to make great looking slides like this in the same time it takes to create mediocre looking slides like this. So 
please click on the link in the description area below this video to see how Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program can change the way you create your business slides forever. And to get a feel for how simple techniques can make a massive impact on your slides, I invite you to join our free mini training. The training is called 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas Course. It is an email training that gives you easy ideas you can implement in your next business presentation. You can join the free mini training by clicking on the button here. So please click on the button here and I'll see you inside the course.